so I guess day one, uh, since, since the person I thought I would marry broke up with me, so maybe I'll just start this as like a little reminder that it's going to be all right. I'm feeling very heartbroken and distraught and blindsided. Um, not sure what the universe has in store for me. <laughs> the goal for today is to let myself cry as much as I want um, and try go for a small walk and swim in the ocean to soothe the soul. <laughs> Hoping tomorrow will be better. Go ahead. I wanted to do like a story time since my daughter's asleep in the car. So like I met this guy off a dating website once and he was like cool. I mean he was a little short. He was chill and like funny and cool and well presented. I liked him because he was really funny which is hard to find in men these days. We would talk all day, every day, even when he was at work and I was busy. It was nice to have, like, companionship. Anyway, we were going to go and have, like, dinner one night, like, a week later, and we were getting along fine, and like I said, we used to joke a lot. And then um, he ended up he made a joke the joke was like you're my 15th girlfriend what that son is just so nice anyway I was like what the fuck that is not a joke like no 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 that's not a joke that's fucking psycho and you're womanizing females that's not okay anyway and I voiced that I wasn't okay with those kind of jokes. Womanizing women, like, oh, I'm allowed to have five wives. Like, where are we? We're in Australia. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I voiced that I did not like that joke. And then he pretty much didn't like that I didn't like it. Anyway, and we weren't talking. And then it was the next day. And then he was like good morning and I was like very upset about the joke because I was like I don't know he seemed genuine and cool and I haven't been in a relationship for years anyway and then as you do when you're like pissed you like use sarcasm anyway I was like um oh I'm surprised you're messaging me out of your 15 girlfriends or whatever and then he's like oh actually I meant 21 girlfriends and I'm like that's not a joke anyway and then he was like obviously you can't take jokes then and then I wrote dot 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 because I was actually really upset I was like that's rude anyway and then he ended up blocking me on snapchat on everything and then I sent him a message of like a song that I loved we always used to say share music and he blocked me so that's how my dating life is going. Good luck with that. So I've been like thinking <laughs> like with these guys on these dating apps, whenever they're really forward about like, hey, you should come over like as their first freaking message. All I think is like they say this because it worked for them before. And that is goddamn terrifying. Like, who allowed these men to just do that? Like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I I take offense to it when a guy just, like, asks to sleep with me. Like, as the first freaking message. At least love a bomb a bitch. Like, what are we doing? Like, I really feel like y'all should just go on Craigslist and, like, hire someone. Like, I just don't. I feel disrespected when men ask me stuff like that. Like. Do you know who I am? I'm a goddess. Like, get down on your knees. You're nothing.
It's very normal to cry after you've been broken up with, especially if the relationship has been going on for a very long time. But I'll never understand this universe stuff. The universe is just a black empty space with stars and planets floating around. It doesn't think or feel or grant you wishes or determine the trajectory of your life. It's time to get back to planet Earth, honey. Get your head out of the fucking clouds. Good for him. He was clearly joking and she took it seriously. He even gave it a cool off period and tried to squash it by telling her good morning. She tried to bring it up again sarcastically and he joked back with her and she took it seriously again. She belongs in a home. What are the chances that if a Chad or Tyrone she really wanted messaged her to smash straight away that she would say yes? I would give it a 90% chance. I wouldn't be surprised if she's done it before and now suddenly started to change her approach because she wants to be valued. We aren't falling for it, honey. Have no value here. Real men of genius.